everybody, I'm Larry Trexler with Sim Products, and today we're going to talk about dual mix seam seeders. When we talk about the seam seeders, there's a, as you can see here in front of me, there's more than just one. And I know that for years, shops would try to get by with just maybe one or two products in a body shop. Well, today that's nearly impossible with the different seam seeder colors and the different viscosities that you see from the factory. So when we talk about our lineup, there's three main categories that we look at when we look at seam seeders. We have self-leveling seam seeders, and we have two when it comes to self-leveling. We have our regular self-leveling and our high build self-leveling. The only difference between these two is how is the viscosity, basically. One's runnier than the other. So when you lay these out, they're gonna flow. They're not gonna stay looking like a bead. They're gonna flow out into a puddle, and they're perfect for doing things like drip rails uh, of a vehicle. Then we move up to the next viscosity. We have medium bodied seam seeders. And when you think about the medium bodied seam seeders, we have gray and beige. Where these are typically used and why they're so important is we use them a lot of times on things like hem flanges, areas of a car that are actually painted. So the color may not be that quite, quite as important on these two. That's why we have two colors, a gray and a beige that are more neutral colors. You can just take your pick of those. But what they do exceptionally is the medium body, if you lay a bead of it, it's gonna stay looking like a bead and you're gonna see that in the demo. But what happens is if you wanna lay a tape edge, put a bead of seam seeder down and then pull that tape up, it will, this medium body seam seeders will flow that edge over and lay it over nice soft where you have that nice soft edge there. And that's what the medium bodies do. Then we move up to the thicker viscosities, what we call our heavy body. Now, we have four OEM colors, and that's what you typically see from the factory, gray, beige, black, and white. And the reason we offer four different colors and why it's more important with this than any of the other ones is because these are typically used in areas like trunk pans, rear body pans of the vehicle, areas that today, and it's underneath the hood as well, areas that today, they aren't painted. So the color of the seam seeder does matter. So why does it matter? Well, one of the things that we look at is what we call post inspections. If you have a vehicle that gets post inspected, yes, if you use the wrong color seam seeder, is the seam seeder doing the job? Sure, it's doing the job. But the problem is, is that from a post inspection standpoint, they're looking for anything that they can do to show the, the insurance company that yes, this car has, has been wrecked and has been fixed. So having the right color seam seeder is imperative that the guy goes in and, be, and is able to duplicate that. The heavy bodies, if you lay a bead, they're gonna stay looking like that. They're not gonna lay over that edge. If you brush it with an acid brush, they're gonna keep that, those brush marks. So what we call you know, a heavy body or high definition, that's exactly what these products do. When we talk about the three different categories for the seam sealers, first of all, all three of these products are OEM recommended and they're all covered underneath our forever warranty. So when we look at the working time and the set time and the top coat times, the only, these two products here, the medium bodied and the heavy bodied seam sealers, both of those can go directly to bare metal. That doesn't mean that they have to. And, but they're also paintable immediately with most solvent based coatings. When it comes to the self leveling seam sealers, Obviously because they flow, and when we talk about those drip rails, that's the one time that we don't recommend going directly to bare metal. So that needs to be either on top of an epoxy primer or some type of direct to metal urethane primer, but never a, a self etched primer. Uh, but that needs to go down on top of a primer. And then when you're finished, because it's gonna continue the flow, you need to let it sit for about 15 minutes and let it finish flowing before you top coat it. Okay everybody, so we're going to go in and I'm going to show you a demo using all of our dual mix seam seeders, the self levelings, the medium bodies, and the heavy body seam seeders. And I'm also going to show you just a couple of little tips and tricks, some of the tips that we have down here, our Versa tip, our Orbit tip, and our new Shift tip. Uh, and I'm going to show you what those do and we're going to just kind of go do a, a brief overview of those and just show you just a few of the capabilities and then we're going to probably shoot some other videos that get a little bit more in depth with each one of them. So when we talk about this, we're going to start with the medium bodied seam sealers. 
and we're gonna go through uh, with the medium body. We have our gray and we have our beige. So I've, first of all, I've already equalized and purged these cartridges. If you didn't see the video on how I did that, make sure you, you go in and you search for it and you'll find uh, how you equalize and purge a cartridge and why it's so important that you do so. So with that, we're gonna do this, a lot of it with our pneumatic applicator. Uh, we're gonna start with the medium body gray and even though we've equalized the cartridge, we also want to make sure before we do anything that we purge it out a little bit, make sure that it looks like it's mixing properly, and it is. So come in. And that is our gray medium bodied seam seal. Now we're gonna come in, we're gonna do the same thing with the beige. So those are our two medium bodied seam seeders. And one of the things that you'll also see uh, that's actually come in package with those right now is our new shift tip. So the shift tip is actually, it stands for, it's, a, it's actually our, our stem hem flange tip. And as you can see, it has guides built onto it, whether you are looking at a left or a right hand side, you can twist this around and use it for your guide but it works extremely well on things like door skins, on things like roof skin, uh, not roof skins, but uh, door uh, hoods, uh, trunk lids, things like that. And we're gonna show you a little bit more in depth on this a little bit later, but what it's particularly designed for is anything that has a stepped up, what we call a hem flange. And uh, it comes with our medium body. And one of the things that I always like to point out with, that I've always liked about Sim, is that we put a lot of work in designing these tips, but we don't charge the body shop for, for, for the product. The tips actually come part of the cartridge. You can't purchase them separately. The only way that you can get more of them is if you're using our products in a body shop, contact your sim rep. We'll be glad to get you some more at no charge. So when we talk about this, we know that we have this step up. So obviously you want to make sure that you're, you've got it twisted around where it's going to have that left hand step up. But you come in and it basically rides that edge all the way down. And what's really nice about it is if you get down close enough, you can actually see the little step in it. It looks just like it does from the factory. And that is what the shift tip does. Now we'll move on just a little bit and we're gonna move into our heavy bodied seam seeders. And these are the ones that we have all four colors. Now, we talked about the, in the other video, the importance of color. We have gray, beige, black, and white. So what a lot of people are surprised at, when I have people that come through Sim School, I ask them, what do you think is the most popular color being used from the factory right now? And for the most part, a lot of guys get it pretty close. A lot of them think that it's beige. Sometimes we get some guys that say gray or black, but it's not. White is actually the most, most popular color right now. Uh, we actually went out to the parking lot here at Sim and picked 10 different vehicles, 10 different manufacturers. I popped the trunk lid, pulled the carpet up, and took a quick picture. And seven of those 10 vehicles used white seam sealer. So we're going to go through and we're going to show you all of these products and what we have the capability of doing with those. Starting with our gray.
move on to the heavy bodied beige. And one of the things that you'll see is that this beige is a much different color than our old beige that we used to have, uh, well, for the medium bodied seam seeders. This is more of an off-white color or a cream color. And I think in a lot of those cases where we think that the white and know that the white is the most popular color, this off-white might be able to replace some of those. So between the white and the beige, I think these two are gonna be your two most popular uh, colors that are out there. Now, another thing that we have, another tip that we have, is what we call Orbit. And Orbit is a tip that was designed when we look inside of, uh, underneath the hood of a vehicle, you see what we com commonly refer to as the ripple bead. And that is what Orbit was able, was designed to duplicate. Just like the shift tip, how it comes with the medium bodied seam seeders, Orbit only comes with the heavy bodied seam sealers and once again we don't charge you for it It's absolutely no charge and if you need more of them once again contact your sim rep and we'll make sure that we get you some of those so with Orbit there's a there's two different sides that you see here there's a flat side and then there's also a guided side now because of the way that Orbit lays it out into a ripple you're gonna entrap some, some small air pockets on the back potentially. So we always recommend, don't just put, especially if we're going down to, to bare metal, don't use Orbit directly to the bare metal. It needs to be laid down on top of a wet bed of seam sealer. The other thing that guys get into is because when we talk about how we, we put the product down, I can give you two different looks simply by the changing the, the, the angle of application. So a lot of times guys were like, well, it's so tough to change that application you know, angle when I'm inside of a, of a trunk pan uh, and I'm using a big gun or anything like that. So one of the tricks that we use is lay the bead off the side on a regular piece of tape. And then once it's dry, peel it up, scuff the back side of it, and then go in and lay it on top of a wet bed of seam seeder. Now you have functionally seam sealed it with that wet bed and you've cosmetically seam sealed it with the Orbit bead. So you kind of kill two birds at, at one time with that. So I'm gonna show you what that will do using our heavy body beige seam sealer. And I'm gonna lay this bead down and then halfway through the bead, I'm gonna simply change my angle and I'm gonna show you the diff two different styles that we get with this. But all you've gotta do is pull the trigger and move the gun. Now just changing the tip a little bit, changing that angle, and you can see it gives a completely different style bead. Now, if we're doing this and we wanted to make it off the car, lay down a piece of masking tape as long as you need it to be. Now once I've done that, all I've got to do is wait for this to set up, peel that off the tape, scuff the back side of it, lay a wet bed of seam sealer and just simply press it down into place. It only takes a small, tiny little bead to be able to do that. And that is exactly what the Orbit bead does. Now we'll move on to our heavy body black. thing I wanted to, to show you with uh, with the heavy body black is we do have what's called Versa tips. The Versa tips actually can be cut on each one of these lines so you can cut it all the way down to the to the, basically a half inch width all the way to an inch and a half width. And the reason that I know that this is an inch and a half and a half is that if you look really closely it actually has those measurements on here for each one of those lines. You have to get down and look at them pretty closely but it allows you to be able to lay out 
different width beads and you can use this with any of our seam sealers. You can actually purchase these in six packs as well. So I'll show you both. First, we'll just lay a simple bead so you get a chance to see what the black seam sealer looks like. Now, we'll come in. We're gonna put the half inch on. inch and a half on. It slows down the application just a little bit. Now another little trick that you can do, and this is what we used to do before we had the orbit tip is where we would actually take our Versa tips, cut them to whatever length we needed and take a pair of vice grips or a pair of needle nose pliers and just come in here and smash it. Now where orbit takes all the skill really out of it, all you gotta do is pull the trigger and pull the applicator. This one you're gonna have to take a and actually add a little bit of a jittery action to it as you're uh, dispensing the product. I always laugh and joke with the people in Sim School and tell them that uh, a couple of cups of coffee usually does the trick, but I'll show you what it does here. The other thing that you can do is you can actually purchase a pair of pinking shears. These actually, you can buy them from Walmart, you can buy them from Hobby Lobby, and pinking shears are actually used for fabric, so you'll find them in the fabric section. But what we do is we come in, and somewhere along that tip, we'll use them to cut grooves. We'll attach that. That's what the thinking shears do, do. And then that leaves us with our last of the heavy bodied seam sealers, which is our white. And it's a nice, clean white, which is what you see on a lot of vehicles like General Motors and Toyota. So, So, what we have are our two medium bodied seam sealers, and then you have our four heavy bodied seam sealers. And you can see the difference how, especially comparing this beige to the gray right next to it, that beige is kind of, even though it's still in a bead shape, it's kind of softened that edge just a little bit. So it's got just the tiniest amount of flow compared to our heavy bodies, which are always gonna be standing up straight and have that high definition to it. Now that leaves us with our self-leveling seam sealers. And as I mentioned before, we have two. We have our standard self-leveling and then we have our high build self-leveling. 
And like I said, the only difference between those two is the viscosity versus one versus the other. So I'm gonna show you both of these as well. Starting with the standard self-leveling. The high build self leveling, the one that I'm uh, dispensing right now, this is the more popular of the two. Just because it gives you, and I don't want to confuse people by calling it a controlled flow. I know that there's companies out there that have seam sealers that, that call theirs controlled flow. They, some of those controlled flow seam sealers are just like the medium body. They actually don't have a, a lot of flow to them. So, you know, when we look at these, these are obviously have way more flow than those. So you just want to make sure we just call them self-leveling. Now, one of the things that, that you also run into, it doesn't matter whose it is, is you're always going to end up with, with air bubbles. Depending on how you apply the product, and at the same time, it is a self-leveling seam sealer, it's going to trap air pockets. One of the easy things to be able to get rid of that is to take a heat gun. And with the heat gun, it doesn't take a ton of, of hot air or a certain temperature, just enough. And if you'll look at those beads, you can wave this thing back and forth across and pull every one of those air pockets out of it until they're completely gone and completely smooth. Now, you may not have been able to tell the difference between the viscosity of these two. So what I will show you is the difference. And that is where you can see the difference between standard self-leveling seam sealer and the high build self-leveling seam sealer. So that's it. That's everything that we have in our seam sealers, our medium body, our heavy body, our self-leveling seam sealers the orbit tip, the shift tip, the Versa tips. And like I said, we're gonna shoot some more videos to kind of get into a little bit more of the details of each one of those. But hopefully this helps you out when it comes to seam sealers. I just really don't know of anybody out there that can match what we have. So hope this helps you out. It's good talking to you.